Hello. Hello. Let's read a story. It's called Wombat Stew. Wombat Stew. One day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. There, in our story so far, there is a dingo, dingo. and a wombat. Let's see what happens. And decided to make Wombat stew, wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. <gasps> Wait, though, I can see a platypus. Platypus. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Here's our platypus. Good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What is all that water for? Can you see in there? There's some water. I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew for that fat wombat. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blobs of billabong mud. Dingo laughed. Oh, what a good idea. Righto, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blocks of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. <gasps> Platypus is going to get some mud. Ugh. Ugh. And I put it in. Round and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. <gasps> wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shades of the iron box came Emu. Here she is. An Emu. Emu. She arched her graceful neck on the over the brew. Oh, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, brewy, chewy, wombat stew, replied Dingo. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers? That would be chewy. Righto, in they go. <gasps> I'm going to put some feathers in the stew. Oh, we've got to get our spoon out. So into the gooey stew, Emu dropped her finest feathers and around and around the bubbling billy dingo danced and sang, oh, wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Okay, let's see what happens next. Oh, it's old blue tongue the lizard. He came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly dingo, he said. We got a lizard. lizard. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies. Agreed dingo, rubbing his paws together. Righto, in they go. So Lizard snapped up 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the stew. Oh, got some flies in the stew. <gasps> around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Oh, gotta get my spoon. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up through the red dirt popped Echidna. Oh, I think we've got an Echidna here somewhere. Here she is. Wait a bit, not so fast. He bristled. Oh, more. Echidna. Echidna. Wait a bit, not so fast. He bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening.
listening to all this advice and take it from me for a munchy stew you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies dingo wagged his tail why i should have thought of that so echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey chewy crunchy stew <gasps> Slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Flop! <laughs> Round and around the bubbling Billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, sleepy-eyed koala, koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. A koala. Hmm. A koala. Hmm. Let me have a look for the koala. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and lipped his whiskers. Righto, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. <gasps> in they go. Ugh. Aha, cried Dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. Asked the animals. That fat wombat. <gasps> Wait! Stop! 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 Hang on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat in yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Righto, I'll taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew.